Well, we started off the day with the warmest temperatures on record in the British Isles for a minimum, and some 12 hours later, we reached 40 Celsius in the British Isles. Thanks for clicking on to part two of Vogan's European Outlook for Tuesday, the 19th of, uh, of July, an historic day across the British Isles, that's for sure. Not just one place, but several places recorded a temperature in excess of the 40 Celsius mark. And of course, this all uh, throws a lot of excitement and um, discussion when it comes to climate change. I don't know uh, what you think about that. Um, we've all got our opinions of it. Um, I can understand people who believe that um, you know carbon dioxide is the cause of this um, heat wave, but I also... Um, believe and understand that um you know there is a lot more complexity to earth's climate as opposed to just one element that we are causing uh the uk to reach 40 celsius it's 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 quite an interesting one and um certainly i'm sure it is bringing a lot of discussion through social media interestingly enough the scottish record of 32.9 celsius recorded back in august of 2003 has now been broken as well so we've seen gray crook in the borders exceed or sorry no gray crook is the previous record holder the new record holder according to the met office is charter hall also in the same region within the borders temperature this afternoon reached 34.8 celsius surpassing the 32.9 set back on the 9th of August 2003. And, um, you know, just amazing stuff. Wales recorded the hottest day on record yesterday. And, of course, Northern Ireland was very close to uh, tying, if not breaking, the record that was set just in July of last year. Um, the Republic of Ireland, 33.0 Celsius, the hottest day the second hottest day on record for Ireland as well. So, yep, uh, records are falling. You know, that's not me talking about the France across Spain as well, where we've seen record-breaking temperatures as well. But, folks, I don't believe for a second. I personally do not believe. And I know there is folk that are going to unsubscribe. There's folk that are going to get upset. But I struggle with the whole climate change thing because the Earth the Earth's climate has always been changing. And for thousands, if not millions of years, this has been the hottest day ever recorded. Yes, it might be in recorded history, but not necessarily, uh, you know, <laughs> long before you and I were on this planet. And, um, you know, only time will tell. Um, but like I, I showed you um, earlier on today, that uh, you know the global temperature, you know today is actually only at zero point two Celsius, and of course, media and uh, you know government will uh, not necessarily like to look at that aspect because it doesn't bode well with the whole uh, agenda that they're they're trying to plug, uh, because you know with the cost of living crisis, with the war in Ukraine, uh, you know things are getting much much tougher when it comes to life on this earth. And the government is trying to, of course, um, continue to, you know, trim back things in order to save the planet. And, you know, things are becoming more and more expensive. Uh, and, it, you know, it's becoming very difficult to live because, um, you know, you need money to be able to eat and uh, put a roof over your head. But, um, you know, we keep getting bombarded uh, at the moment with regards to cutting greenhouse gases a, you know, reducing our carbon footprint, but um, you know, this is a direct consequence of of climate change, according to some people, and uh, you know, it is it is difficult to listen to that day in and day out when we just simply do not have hard proof and evidence that carbon dioxide is the cause of this particular um climate situation, if you will. I get the fact that the, the planet is warmer than it was, you know, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago. But, you know, do we truly know that this is a direct consequence of fo the burning of fossil fuels? That is the golden question. 
Um, but certainly it is. There's no no doubt about it. An historic day in the British Isles. For the first time in a lifetime, the temperature has exceeded 40 Celsius in several places across the British Isles. The good news is, and this is where, uh, you know, 1976, which has been compared to and then dismissed because the temperature is five Celsius higher than it was back in 1976. The difference is, folks, that these extreme temperatures are hitting and then they're leaving again. And that actually is something that I suggested on this channel over a week ago, that if we do see extreme heat in the British Isles, it will hit and then leave again. And we go back to fresher conditions over the next couple of days and you know, we're back to actually below normal temperature across the, uh, particularly the northern half of the British Isles uh, over the next, uh, you know, several days. So this is the latest GFS ensemble run, upcoming five days, plenty of heat across the UK, Ireland, and much of the continent. Uh, let's say, uh, you know, not look at that uh, blue on the eastern portion of Europe, of course. The planet is about to burn up, uh, according to some. The day 6 to 10... Uh, you can see here, actually below normal across the northern half of the British Isles, average conditions across much of the UK. So 1976, where we had, you know, almost day after day, temperatures in excess of 30 Celsius, very warm overnight period as well. You know, the, it, it was a, a long-lived hot spell, kind of similar to 2018, if you remember. The difference is that you can't compare a heat wave that yes may exceed the heat wave of 1976 by five uh, five uh, five degrees. The problem that you've got is this is a short sharp burst of extreme heat, whereas back in 76 or 2018 or 1990, these were longer lived hot spells that I think put more of a strain and stress on both man and machine and infrastructure and it is very very important to not just look at one aspect and that's what you know the media and certain aspects of of government agencies for example they want you to just look at what they're saying and you have to take that as gospel now i struggle with the whole global warming thing because i'm not 100 percent sure what to believe because the planet is clearly warming, but I'm not entirely convinced that it's just carbon dioxide. I do believe that man has a role in this warming, i.e. bigger towns, bigger cities, urban heat island, so on and so forth. But you look at other aspects, and we've seen warmer times in the years, the decades, the centuries that have gone by. So, you know, where do we really stand when it comes to climate change? You know, the, cl the climate has always been changing. And, you know, I just think that there's a lot of people out there that are genuinely afraid of these temperatures today. But I don't think it's as simple as just buying into what you're being told on your TV or reading in your newspaper. It is a lot more complicated than that. And, you know, maybe I'll be wrong. Maybe next year we'll see 45. The year after that, we'll see 50, you know. And if that's the case, then we should be worried. But we'll wait and see what happens. So, like like I say, temperatures are going at to slightly below average in the 6 to 10 day period, the 11 to 15 day, according to the GFS Ensemble. Yeah, warmer than normal across much of England, Wales, Ireland. But is it anything exceptional for the time of the year? No, it isn't. Like I say, a short, sharp burst of extreme heat. The month of June, just slightly warmer than average. And I'll end that because uh, I'm getting tired. I'm sure people are too warm sitting watching this. So we'll end it at that. By the way, it's actually almost pitch dark out there because it's raining quite heavy. I don't know what it's like where you are. Let me know in the comment section below how your day has been and what your thoughts are with regards to what I've said in this video. Hope you have a great rest of your evening. Please like, please share, and if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel. Bye for now.